Take a little, please. And here. Council Member Wilson. Here. Council Member Briggs. Here. Council Member Trevina and I here. Absent. Beautiful. We have a motion to please approve the agenda. Moved by Watson Briggs. Discussion of the agenda. All in favor? Opposed? I approve. Six minutes. Five. Watson Briggs. Discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Minutes are approved. Unfinished business city attorney evaluation. I'm going to defer to Ms. Sells, and she's going to take you through the process for the event. Ms. Sells, welcome. Hello, great to see you all. You too. Great. So I distributed a few documents earlier, um, including the question for the attorney and administrator evaluations, and then uh, a timeline as well. Um, and included in that timeline and planning document was a list of the participants that would be providing feedback to the administrator and attorney. And my goal for this conversation today is just to make any edits or tweaks to the timeline and or surveys um, and to answer any questions that anyone might have. And my colleague, David Johnson, uh, is probably um, on the phone as well, dialing in in case you, you see a, another phone number. He will be assisting me with the process. Excellent. Yeah, so we, we do see him as an attendee. Great. Thank you. Sure. Uh, any, so I guess we, just to keep order, uh, let's roll with the attorney evaluation first. Is there any? Council member hopes and dreams. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> we open the door, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it, it made sense to me. Uh, I, 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 I'm still satisfied. Before? I'm happy with it. If you are, so we can open the survey for the timeline. Oh. Is there anything else on, uh, with respect to that one itself? Uh, Mr. Dahoney. Same. Bird. Is there any council member kind of hopes of these comments, observations and comments? Yeah, that was okay to me. Similarly. Uh, and so what's the uh, the time frame do you think for us getting uh, when, when folks can expect to, to have this land in their inboxes so we can uh, help uh, other members who are not uh, on the committee receiving these communications have some expectations of it. Yeah, we can launch it tomorrow. Our typical process is to send an email out, a regular email out to all the participants, letting them know that they'll be also getting an email from Prenologic. Um, occasionally it might end up in a spam filter. So, and obviously with all this, Cybersecurity issues. We want to make sure people know that it is from us. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we can get everything launched tomorrow. Wow. Do you need any contact information? I might need it for the newer people. So, yeah. I'm happy to help you with any contact information you don't have. Excellent. Excellent. Amy, I would only ask that when you send out the email that it be clear that there's two surveys just in case somebody fills out one and does thinks they're done and doesn't realize there's two. Just think that. We'll do. We'll, we'll send out an, an email for each of them. So, yep. Okay. And just um, in terms of the expectation, um, particularly, I think I remember nudges in the past, which suggests my. Uh, need for such things, but is it, I assume there's an, an expectation of 100% participation for council in terms of uh, the amount of reminders that might go out and for other participants as well. For... Yeah, that, that is our hope. Usually we get above 90% and we do, we do lots of nudging. I mean, the, the, the system we feel is as um, easy to use as possible so that, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, as quick as possible and as efficient as possible for the participants, but we do send out email and rem systems reminders repeatedly during the process. Anything else from the evaluees on, on this? 
No. All right. Uh, do we need a motion? To yes. What is the motion that we require? A motion to start the evaluation process for city attorney and city administrator by sending out survey questions. Evaluators identified by Ms. Self. And a motion, please, move by Grace Watson. Discussion? I think that's good. Uh, all in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Ms. Self, thank you as ever. Great, grateful. Thank you. All right, see ya. Thank Have you. a great afternoon. Thanks. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Frozen and flattering. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think I've ever seen that happen for me. <laughs> uh, uh, continue on with unfinished business, council com uh, calendar and work session. We had a discussion at last about this. Uh, Council Member Dina wanted to also work on it. But uh, just as a reminder, the way it stands right now, we are sort of geared towards what would become five meetings in a That would be a work session on September 25th. As of right now, it's not been formally communicated out. From, but so there's that. That would be discussion of the report that uh, Dr. Bolt and I have been. Well, that's the focus of that. Uh, it would be starting at 7 p.m. And probably take a couple hours. Then there's a uh, regular council meeting that follows the very next week. In the after that, which I think is October 10th, uh, there would be a work session that day. And that is, I believe, the annual EA. Uh, Joint session with us that would be at two p.m. Followed by a council meeting the next week. Followed by another session, and that would be the request session. That is a joint focus on housing homelessness. Um, that Jennifer Hall putting together on our behalf. So that would be a combination of mostly. So that's a five week. I think we're going to be exhausted when we do five straight weeks of meetings. That is, uh, we also have a session scheduled annually between the city administrator's office and our annual planning session. And that happens in December. Don't know the date, but it's on there. Number 11. And at that meeting, um, present on John Foyer's from meeting economic development, development processes, et cetera, et cetera. So that Our strategic plan and trying to figure out what to go in the third slot. So we'll do three topics that night. So each of them would be a little more involved. That session begins at four o'clock. December 11th. Four o'clock at seven. 
And so between the five straight meetings and what's coming in December, we still need to figure out what is our protocol for calling those sessions if the whole business is there. And I guess the floor is perpetually open for ideas about what the topic should be. Uh, it's been expressed to the staff that we have the option of suggesting the topic and we're in it every day. And you all certainly have something that you want us to think about. Uh, keeping in mind that it does take a time to put these together, so we would never be in a That's kind of where we are. No counselor, and um, I think he was going to engage with people on this topic and maybe able to pick that up. Uh, but to get this ball rolling, again, assuming that we're going to proceed with the meeting on the 25th, is, what is the topic of that one? I'm sorry, sorry. the energy option, Dr. Stoll. So that meeting hasn't been calendared yet. So my suggestion would be for you to call the work session, send an email um, to myself and Jackie, and so we can get that notice this week because the agenda should go out on Friday, mm -hmm. and then folks have ample notice. But then we could also put a resolution to revise the 2023 calendar on the 918 agenda, adding this 25th work session and then also the 25th. There was some suggestion about starting that session at six. What else? So I don't know if that works for everyone, but then they would have a chance to talk about it. <laughs> I simply raised that not knowing what our rationale was for starting at seven o'clock for a work session. When you know, if you're ready to go sooner than that, and these things take a while, and since we're inviting people from outside to come spend the time. Maybe we wouldn't start at seven, but if it's inconvenient for members, then we start at seven. Mm -hmm. What is an outrage? And we have to do whatever it's going to be. Let me personally fix or seven is meeting one or the other, but I know that there are members that. Right. I just see that thinking as to why we're rolling, why we roll this up. We'll be there. That was inconvenient. But. <laughs> <laughs> we express our gratitude, uh, an additional layer of gratitude for the hour. All right. Uh, uh, the other thing I'll, I'll go ahead and mention uh, just to factor in, uh, Councilman Rosina, I'm sure. My understanding is that we have to do public comment at 845. That is the current the current rule does specify public comment at least down to rule it can be changed uh, as a structural matter and waived as a tactical. So the the staff feedback on that. Okay. Just super briefly, the goal of that back when was to have a targeted okay. let council members and staff know that they were done less than 45 because time was things would extend. If we're going to start at seven, there is nothing that we have to tell you. We will get right to the point. What we can't guess that is the level of discussion you want to have with us about what we heard. So maybe we have to kind of work at it and figure it out. Uh, but we're fine. We can, since we're making the content, we can make sure we're done by. I mean, we'll be ready to go. Yeah. 
And I think it's, if I recollect correctly, they've got the no later then if the conversation is done, then the conversation is done. Yeah. Okay. I'm, 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 it sounds reasonable to me, but I just wanted to be clear. If the rules no later then, that's a good part of the my my only concern with public comment is sometimes it, some sessions have been that I like to have public comments at the beginning, but I understand we're not making decisions at a work session, and so probably good for public to hear what they what we hear and provide comments. So when we're doing decisions. Okay. Anyway, it's, 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 so by way of clarity, yes, there's no proposal to my knowledge to. So we need a motion here to no, we don't do we need a motion? We need a motion for the resolution to revise the agenda. Sponsored by the committee for the ninety two meeting. Move by. Captain Fire, discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Move it. Um so we're good on that. Everybody's happy. Super. Uh Triple ATA and DDA regular updates. Um, as DDA or Triple ATA uh, reached out to me and maybe reaching out to other members about uh, that is to say board initiated um, uh, board initiated uh, outreach by um, desiring to bring Triple ATA further into the uh, into the uh, the momentum of the city. Um, and, you know, observing that the AAA TA kind of acts outside of the city, and while it is in many respects outside of the city, also in obvious respects, relates to the city qua city and the municipal organization as a result of uh, One, uh, and so, you know, I got to thinking maybe it would be useful to have AAA TA. Have periodic updates to city, that is to say, council, about so what's going on with the triple ATA, and by extension, uh, because they are, you know, an authority that council, council may or populate with board members, have the DDA do the same. Um, I've spoken to DA, DDA is super excited about this. Uh, I've not yet spoken to triple ATA, I suspect they will be so. And so, I guess the proposal is for the the, the, the thought uh, is we have, you know, an every other month update from each you know, overlapping updates, overlapping updates from each organization, much in the same way that the chair of ICPOC comes in and gives us five to ten about what the heck is going on with ICPOC, what the heck is going on with AAA TA, what the heck is going on with DG, is opportunity to communicate to us about how their goals align with our goals, what they're doing with challenges. Yeah, I think uh, if I get uh, the same as the other, also, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, that makes that, that makes all the sense. So, I think if I so that would put uh, the, the authorities on the second meeting. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, do we? I don't recollect whether the ICPOC invitation was, was uh, necessity. The ICPOC position on the agenda necessitated a change to the council rule. I don't. But I because don't. the council rule does articulate what goes on, or maybe they're just an introduction. Because they're an introduction, I would consider that I would not. Okay, we'll see some order then. Yes, goodbye. You, you, sh <clears throat> you shouldn't have to do. Thing, um, because the administrator has a segment really mm -hmm. but I can use that segment on the mic coming say now <laughs> have a yeah, director yep. a director they are going so perhaps I'll extend the invitation 
convey this to standing invitation to uh, board executive directors and we'll, on, the, on the authority of a bunch of head nods. I will also double check the council rules. Yeah. yeah. This will clarify. I usually add those with the introduction. So every month I'm adding every time we have an introduction. Yeah. Well, it's useful certainly for public to know what's coming. All right, super. Uh, so I still do that. Just like that order we Yes. All right. Excuse me. All right. Excellent. Um, is there anything else on number three? Yes. Based on my comment, I realized it might, I would like to see it change the agenda that despite that we very rarely hear public comment. Um, maybe if we could add public comment to the agenda um, in the logical at the beginning of the meeting as well as the end. As well? Yeah. I don't think I'm, I, I'm fine if, if this is a preference for the beginning rather than the end. I don't really necessarily see that it's much of a time. So, um, so to have two public comment sessions, one at the beginning, one at the end. Did that turn out to be unwieldy? I'm happy to know. I guess, yeah. I'm just think of, thinking about precedent. It's very different from I guess, how some of our other uh -oh. committees work. I mean, we don't have a Every 
everyone knows in advance, kind of hear or call that we is what we don't have. Uh, so that it's clear before we're in the middle of the form. And so that would happen in October. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing I can share with you is during the process of answering RFP uh, to go out and choose our next our director. Uh, so we've got to go through a procurement process to um, to you know do that for us. And I do have some candidates to review. Um, we're out of reserve next for nighttime. We kind of that process. And that's it. Thank you. Further information or upcoming business? I am finally going to send out that email notification to all of council and encouraging council to start using the portal that you can go to the spot. Um, and I will request that you nudge your peers to speak as to your transition, but that email should go up. Oh. Um, Public comment. If any of our attendees wish to initiate public comment, if so, please enter star nine now. See no one, public comment is closed. Can I wish you adjourn, please? Move by IR Briggs. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed, we're adjourned.